Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another motherfucking YouTube video. You already know how fucking is. So, as, as you can tell, I'm on the floor of my room, and that's because I'm about to pack because I got kicked out. <laughs> I'm going to Mexico for two weeks, and I'm very really conflicted on wh what to dress like because I'm going to be living in a rancho for about a week. And there's a huge possibility that I'm gonna go to like La Ciudad. I'm from Jalisco, Mexico. The bad thing about this, I can't really dress like hoish at a rancho because I don't want to get like bullied. <laughs> um, because that that my dad's rancho is very third world. Like it's very like like they don't know like woke. <laughs> they don't know wokeness yet. <laughs> so they're very much old school. So I'm gonna try to dress as much as possible and also kind of do like a life update because I've not uploaded. A YouTube video since October so let's get right into it bitches the thing I like to pack is definitely has to be my underwear um, I usually take about like 16 pairs of underwear or like not 16 I usually take like three extra underwears just in case you know some rip or I shit my pants or you know my cousin wants to steal my underwear which has happened okay <laughs> um, so I bring extra underwear just in case but ever since October, life has been kind of crazy. I got fired from my last job. I was still... No, actually, I wasn't employed um, when I did my last video. So, yeah, I didn't have a job. I had left my job because they were just not training me right, okay? My, my, my co-worker, the one who was training me, she really just hated her job which involved training me. So she hated me along doing all that shit. And she definitely like was so miserable that she just made my life miserable there too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my thong, of course, or I'm gonna take my jock strap, of course, cause you never know. You know, I might have to pop a school, I might have to pop one in the middle of like a horse um, sleep thingies, like, you know, those little things where like they keep, they keep the horses and then yes i'm taking another i'm taking a thong this is i'm actually gonna say this for guadalajara because the guadalajara is full of gays and i just want to twerk with these and go to clubs and like have fun <laughs> I, I like to roll my underwear so i can have more space i'm gonna roll because this is like a medium size it's pretty efficient but i like to overpack just in case um and then i'm gonna add a little speedo in there because there's a huge possibility if I go to Guadalajara, I'm gonna go to Puerto Vallarta, and we all know that Puerto Vallarta is full of gays, and it can't be any more gay than pink flamingos. I'm probably gonna have to put this in a bottom, because I don't want my grandma or grandpa just opening up my suitcase and seeing that and not being the first thing they see, I would be kicked out. So next would be my comfort, or like my sleep shorts, because I already know it's about to be hot as fuck over there. You know, just because it's winter, it doesn't mean it doesn't get hot. I'm someone who gets hot real quick. Like, hot. Like, I'm not talking about horny hot. I'm talking about, like, like heat hot. Well, horny hot, too. <laughs> so, this shirt, I actually wore it for Cancun. Um, I don't know if you guys see my vlog for Cancun, but I wore this for Cancun. I'm probably going to wear this for Christmas this year again. All my all my outfits I'm taking over there is recycled. I did not buy not, no new outfit. No, I didn't go shopping. This is all recycled. One because I can't be out being I can't be out here being too lujoso, too like fancy in a rancho because there is people who will literally steal from me over there and there's people who will think I'm dead ass rich and will kidnap me and will not allow me to come back over here. And I have a lot of plans over here for the next year. So I'm trying to come back. <laughs> but so yeah, this is definitely gonna be worn on Christmas with these um pants. Oh, where are they? The goal is to look like straight kind of, but still look hot, you know, still make my ass look good. Cause I actually do want like a ranchero. Like I want to have a little boot thing. So when I go over there, you know, for my dad and my mom, like I want to have a little boot thing over there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're already kind of raggedy. I mean, because look at this shirt. <laughs> the color is just like so fucked up. Like, <laughs> like I'm probably gonna, when I get over there, I'm not gonna, like iron my shirts or anything i want to wait till i get over there before i go out you know just fix it before i go out this is just like something that i just need to get done ever since i, ever since I haven't had a job i really just been having i just been really been just out here you know i guys i literally went 
to the club, to this after club that closes to like four in the morning. And I went after the club and everything. And y'all, I was, I'm so disappointed in myself because I was not allowed to go to the club, inside the club, because the security said I was too fucked up. And he was right <laughs> because I threw a trash can at him. Yeah, that was, that's not my brightest moment. I threw a trash can at the security guard. I literally threw the trash can and then I started running. And then the security guard tackled me down. He lift, he got me back up to my feet. And I was I instantly said, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Because I really don't know why I did that. I mean, I guess when you're drunk, you're, you can't control your actions as much. But... <laughs> Bitch, that's what the fuck I'm, do I'm doing to myself because that's just something I just don't want to be doing. I don't want to be known as that. Someone who just can't handle my liquor. I'm, and I'm going to bring one, like, you know, played, you know, ranchero Mexican vaquero shirt because, you know, there's a huge possibility that I might go to a rodeo or uh, what do you call those? Jala, jala, jalapenos, jala, jala, whatever. It's like where you like dance and like, um, like, there's a lot of alcohol involved, and there's, like, bull riding, and, like, you get attacked by one of them and shit, like, you're, like, you're, there's, like, the least likely chance you're, you're, you'll come out surviving, like, there's one of those, right? and it's just every single time I go out, y'all, this, this year, something always tends to happen, whether it's me getting into a fight with a friend, with the security guard, with a friend of a friend, or something just has to happen when I'm going out, going out. My, my resolution for next year is to reduce my going out. Because I really just want to focus on my bag and I really want to focus on, you know, making more content and really being more about that instead of being more about partying. I'm 23 years old. I've been doing this since I was 14 years old and it's getting kind of old. So right, I'm also going to be taking this shirt I got on Sheen. It's a crop top. No, I'm not taking it to a rancho because, again, I do not want to get bullied. <laughs> Over there, so I'm gonna wear this in Guadalajara because, like I said, I know Guadalajara is full of gays. There's a bunch of people for that probably wear the same outfit as I do. So I'm gonna go do this. I have met some friends over there in Mexico, so I just I hope that they like take me out to the club. Last time I got, I went, I was, I was over there. I was like about 13 years old, so I wasn't really able to do to do much other than like just like normal like cycle. If you guys didn't know where what Jalisco is, what Jalisco is about. Jalisco is literally the state that invented tequila. I'm going to take this cute little romper with me. This is, again, going to be for Jalisco. I mean, it's going to be for Guadalajara because I just I just don't feel comfortable wearing gay stuff over there in El Rancho because it's just, I just, I don't know. I feel like people are going to give me, like, death stares and, like, just it just wouldn't be... Uh, a comfortable situation if I dress like me, me. Like, I still dress masculine. I love dressing masculine. I, I love being handsome. <laughs> a handsome Squidward, you know. But sometimes I want to show a little stomach, you know, be a little bit of a hoe. But I can't do that in my own rancho, unfortunately. Taking some, taking my green chino pants. These make my ass look big. And that's the goal. These make my ass look good. So, I really hope, like, a guy in a horse, like, a really guy in a horse with a hat, with a button on shirt comes and rescue me and be my prince charming because that's what i've been looking for y'all i have i literally have a fortune cookie that tells me one must kiss a bunch of frogs before prince charming comes along and obviously that means and i take that as me being a hoe until he comes along <laughs> so i'm also gonna take this uh jean jacket i'm also gonna be taking uh, so i'm also gonna be taking this jean jacket because again this is gonna be for el rancho because we're probably going to go to coleaderos or rodeos. And I really want to look cool. You know, I want to look like I'm actually, like, there. I don't want to look like I'm some random bitch that just, like, showed up out of nowhere. Like, I really want to look like I'm, I'm living there. Maybe this is what we're going to have to end up doing. I have to reconstruct my, my, my luggage. Don't you hate that when you're, like, already feel like you're, you got, like, a something going on. And then I don't know where, like, I don't know where, um... It, it doesn't, it's, it's not how you expect it to be. Honestly, uh, tw turning 23 has been more crazier for me than turning 21. Like, when I first turned 21, I was already kind of doing a lot of things. Like, you know, I was 20 going to the bars. I was 20 going to 21. Pl uh, I was 19 going to the 21 plus clubs. Like, I was hanging out. I was, like, the youngest out of my group of friends back then. So, I was already doing a lot of things. And then now that I'm 23... I'm experiencing a lot of new things, and I feel like 23 is like the new 21. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, 
23 is just so much more fun. <laughs> my Thanksgiving was good. You know, I was so happy. I was so grateful to be with my family. I didn't, I didn't wild out like I usually do. You guys heard the new song uh, from Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2. I've been obsessed. My favorite song right now currently is My Life by um, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> and that song has been stuck in my head. I'd be like, my life, my life, my life. Back on Tinder, so a bitch is back dating. This whole year, I really have only talked to three individuals. Yes, I had sex with every single one of them. <laughs> and I ended up not getting a ring for it with any of them. So that explains how my year went. The first person I talked to this year was literally like a couple of days after New Year's. He was a gentleman. He, he ordered my Uber to get there to his house and back home. He already had wine ready for us. On our second day, he... You know invited me to his house he had a food cook for us and i kind of helped him out with the pasta part he had music going on we were watching bad girls club and you know eventually we just stopped talking but he was the love of my life this year he was like the reason why i'm like i still believe in like being ho he's the reason why i'm still hope a hopeless romantic because i generally am into that kind of stuff like that cute shit a guy again that I've been off and on with him since 2017. He was my, he's my next door neighbor. We're not literally next door neighbor. He's like a couple houses down. He was my first time just with anything, you know? And I mean anything, I mean everything. Like he, he took my virginity. Shoes. Oh. <laughs> I want to take everything, but I can't. Okay, I, I saw travel hacks before this, okay? <laughs> But yeah, the second guy, he was a scammer. <laughs> he wanted me to help him scam, and I was not about to do that. But I was like, you know what? Go do do you bring me back that money? <laughs> you know, and he did bring me back money. He would buy he would buy us little getaway trips. He would, you know, it was a really uh, fun time with him. He was just really hood for me, and he was just scary sometimes. So I kind of had to like, you know, kind of had to back away for a little bit because I just didn't want to get caught up in whatever he was in. So that, that's one big highlight for my year. He's like, he's like my Judas. Like, you know how Lady Gaga was like, I'm in love with Jesus, but I still love Judas. Like, that was, that's him to me. Like, I love Jesus and I love good boys. Like the guy, the first guy I'm telling you guys. But I'm always going to go back to my Judas. Like, I'm always going to go back to this dude because this dude has, like, taught me so much about my sex life. But the, the, but the real reason I stopped talking to this individual is because one time I was over his house, we did what we had to do, homework, <laughs> and and then the next day he, he messaged me accusing me of stealing his Louis Vuitton bracelet. And I'm like, D uh, me? Stealing from you? Who's a scammer? You can go get that yourself. Like, you can go get it in like two seconds. What are you talking about? Why are you coming at me, you know? So I had to cut him off because I was like, I was like your ride or die. And you want to come and tell me that I stole your bracelet when I can get one, when I can get silly bands? <laughs> like, it's just not, it's just, it was just not cute. So I had to cut him off. We're still good. He's still my next door neighbor. We say hi here and there. But the last person who I had talked to, hooked up with, whatever, he is actually the quarterback for my, for my high school, except he was a class higher for me. But it was just really shocking having to find that out because I literally thought he was the girls girls. Every girl wanted him. He had an amazing body. He was like the, the, the prince, the homecoming prince or something like that. Like he was like that person in high school. So like the fact that he wanted me, I was like, bitch, are you sure? <laughs> me, the nerdy, geeky, ugly, disgusting kid from high school. Okay. He did fuck up in Cancun by not bringing enough, uh, uh, what's it called? By not bringing enough of um, uh, sunblock, so I'm definitely gonna be bringing a lot of sunblock this this year, this this time around because last time I was burnt and I had like scars all over my back and that should look like a whole ass map. I think I should be good. I'm, I'm not, I actually put packed pretty efficiently. I packed for two weeks worth in a medium size, uh, what you call um, in a medium size luggage. Like I'm really proud of myself, y'all. Like usually. It doesn't fit here. Well, I'm kind of making it fit. <laughs> Get in, bitch. <laughs> for, so for my skincare, I'm not gonna bring too much skincare over there, just because our, I'm only gonna bring certain skincares over there. Uh, and the first thing I'm gonna bring is definitely my body lotion. 
that is detrimental because it'd be getting drier than a bitch up there <laughs> so i'm bringing my lotions and then where's my snail music oh i'm, I'm also gonna be bringing my snail music this has how my face moisturize so good so i had to take it because i already know mexico is gonna be dry as fuck and i had to take it i'm gonna be bringing uh face like sprays i'm actually gonna put it on so on somewhere now oh my god that feels so good this is basically just moisturizes your face it's just water that moisturizes your face and i'm definitely gonna need some because i already know mexico about to be fucking drier than my lips <laughs> And I'm also gonna be taking a bonnet because you know I want to be cute over there and just you know have my little bonnet on and wake up and then at six in the morning and take a shot. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know if it's going. Is this going to work? Oh, yep, it's working. <laughs> She's like, please help me. Okay. Alright, y'all. I'm done packing for the night for my trip. It's going to be a two-week trip. I really can't wait for y'all to see it when it comes out. It's probably not going to come out for like another three months, just like this video. Just kidding. No, I really am thankful for this year. It's 2023. About to end. Or we're about to go to 2024. Oh. Oh, I heard something out there, y'all. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let, let me let me stop this video before Michael, ja Ma before Michael Jackson comes over and kills me. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Or my Some updates and some resolutions, reflections, or whatever the case may be. Comment down below what resolutions you guys have for next year.